Yeah, yeah, big storm coming, black rain coming First in the world, tell me who won it Winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep Big storm coming, black rain coming First in the world, tell me who won it Winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep Alright man, a lot of my mind today Um, creating this at 11.45 Gonna scare it for 5 o'clock But as soon as I get done recording this video I gotta go to court today Um, got a couple personal issues going on um, don't know the outcome, but if I don't post a video tomorrow or if I don't stream later on tonight, then it's because, yeah, freedom has been taken away. You know what I'm saying? But um, regardless of the fact, it'll be all good. I ain't tripping, but just want to let you guys know if I don't post a video, that's the reason why. Um, but yeah, in today's video... Um, we will be playing a Cowboys user who's fucking crazy. Um, Cowboys are cracked out. I never, I, I didn't know it, but yeah, Cowboys are cracked out. But um, y'all can do me a big favor, man. Smash that like button. Um, make sure you guys comment down below if you need the subscribe button. I did call out a huge YouTuber. He did respond to me. Um, Hopefully, I can make a video on that and then drop it tomorrow. But like I say, if situations happen, then situations happen. Um, but yeah, got to go to court after I create this video. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, smash like button. Let's get into it. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board. Choose over or under their projected stat line for the day and choose which way you want to profit. With flex play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with prize picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, prize picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, prize picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your app store or Google Play and download prize picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. So right here, we got Dave Vo. He's going with the uh, Eagles. I got the Bills. But this is what I be trying to explain to y'all, man. Um, now, me, I drop a video every single day simply because as a YouTuber, I feel like there's no reason to not drop a video every single day. Well, I don't know what people got going on but um, in their personal lives, and that's exactly why I'm making this video right now. Um... Simply because, man, as a YouTuber, as a content creator, I'm a, well, not even as a YouTuber or content creator, but I'm a very type of personal person, you know what I'm saying? Like, things that are serious to me in life and things like that, I don't really like to share those things, you feel me? I like to keep those things to myself, um, because in my, in, my, in my experience, you know what I'm saying, people getting too much in your business can just cause nothing but trouble and problems for you, you know what I'm saying? So, anything that I really like enjoy or really care about or things like that I stay away from it like for an example this is just for an example right people was begging me yo bro make a channel a YouTube channel about your dogs make a YouTube channel about your dogs and I'm just like I don't think I will ever do that and because I really enjoy and care about my dogs and like it's something something as little as somebody making a slick comment down below or somebody saying something like you know Oh, that dog right there is skinny. You should feed him more. You don't care about your dogs. I'm calling the the dog pounds on your dogs. That shit like that will just get under my skin and ruin my day. Because I really, really actually care about my dogs. But somebody else's opinion on something that something like that will like kind of mess me up. You feel me? Because you know you look at some dogs and some dogs are supposed to be heavier than others and things like that. But if you know what I'm saying, or, or somebody saying, "Oh my God, your dog's too fat. He should not be that big." You should get them on diets and shit like that. That shit right there. But like, I'm like, all right, whatever. But when it comes to Madden and things like that, it's not like I actually created Madden or things like that. So I really don't have any personal issues towards Madden. But um, that's what I be wanting to explain to y'all, man. Like, 
everything like we go through the same problems you guys go through in real life like it's not just internet things you know what i'm saying this should be real life and people don't understand it you know what i'm saying so not every day we're gonna get on here with a positive attitude or you know what i'm saying not not every day you're gonna get on here and have the best energy in the world oh my god I, i've got a fucking you feel me you're not gonna get on here every day with the jitters I, and, and people that do do that i don't know how y'all do it but you know, shout out to y'all, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? I was debating on if I wanted to correct this video or not. I got fucking court on my mind. I don't know the outcome. And I'm just like, this my shit, it's in somebody else's hands right now. You know what I'm saying? It is in somebody else's hands right now. So, um, really don't know what to think. And um, I can share this experience with y'all. I can share y'all what happened after the fact, but I don't like to share things like while things are going on. If y'all know me, I always tell y'all things after situations happen. You know what I'm saying? So, um, prayers up, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm the type of person I accept my consequences no matter what. You know what I'm saying? I don't complain about them. Um, if I did wrong, I did wrong. And, um, you know, you gotta live with it, man. I'm not sad. I'm not upset about it. It's just, you know what I'm just thinking about it. I'm definitely not sad or upset about it at all. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. Just, you know, I'm just unsure. I'm the type of person that, like, I don't like to wait on things. Like, I don't even have to go to court today. I got, like, four or five more days until I have to go to court. But I'm just, like, I got I got hit with a 10-day notice. Like, yo, you got to be in court in 10 days. I'm like, all right. And um, I was just like, shit, fuck it. Last night I thought about it. I was like, shit, tomorrow today, fuck it. I don't like to wait on things. I don't, I don't like to wait. Cause all it's gonna do is get in my mind to thinking and rushing and and I'm not the type of person that like to worry. I don't like to worry. I just like to just let's do it. Like whatever's gonna be, let's let's get it over with now. You know what I'm saying? But that right there was a GG versus a sub. Um, now I'm showing you guys a bunch of games from from um. The stream right here because it's not just me losing or not just me having close games. I play a lot of subscribers every single day, and um, some games be blowouts, some games be good games. But um, just showing y'all the the way this this today went. You know what I'm saying on this stream, and um, you guys will be like, oh okay. You know what I'm saying, damn. But uh, that's why I really don't try to judge any other content creator or things like that and be like, yo. Um, and, and I had to catch myself one day like. And I, and, and I just did it again today in, the, in this video. I was like, yo, you should drop a video every single day. But like I say, you never know what people are going through. You never know what's going on to why people can't drop a video every single day. But if it's as far as like work ethic, then I understand like, okay, that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? If your work ethic is not right for you to drop a video every single day, then cool. But if you got things going on in your personal life, then I definitely understand. I definitely understand because life be life. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Us content creators aren't above anybody else, bro. Like we, we, yeah, we humans. We we gotta, you know, what I'm saying, wake up with and, and brush our teeth in the morning. We gotta wake up and put our pants on in the morning, just like everybody else do. And that's the mindset I had. Well, that's the mindset we used to have when we played football. You know, what I'm saying, bro, those guys are big. Bro, those guys are fast. Them guys are strong. Them guys are. Coach, you tell you, listen. They put their pants on and just like you, they wake up in the morning and just like you. You feel me? So it's not like, you know what I'm saying, they're above you or nothing. You just got to go out there and got to go out there and play, man. Got to go out there and play. I am dotting. For y'all that know, ain't really paying attention to what's going on, Gun Bunch Verticals is just insane. Gun Bunch Verticals is just my offense right now. Look at it. It's just it's so many reads. That wasn't a good read. <laughs> that wasn't a good one, but it's just a lot of reads, man. It's You just got to really pay attention. You'll see a lot, a lot of reads going on, man. I ain't going to say it's easy reads, but Gun Bunch Verticals is the way to go, man. Gun Bunch Verticals might be the way to go. But yeah, man, got fucking court coming up, man. So my mind, I'm ready to fucking, I'm just ready to get there already. Like, I'm ready to get to court right now and just like, 
Like Judge, what you gonna do now? Come on now, hurry up. Let's get this over with. So you know what I'm saying? We can get this so we can get this going. But man. Right there was a nice dot. Um who who's the who's the who's the who's the good sleeper team on Madden? Who was a good sleeper team on Madden? And I'm gonna just go ahead and say I really do think it's the Cowboys, man. I think it's the Cowboys. Now Cowboys are obviously a good team and I ain't gonna say good team in real life, but Cowboys aren't a bad team in real life. They're a pretty decent team in real life. Um I just don't look at them as a good Madden team. Like Okay, they got weapons. They got they got they got a decent squad, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. You don't see people using them like you see people using the Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Ravens. Um Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Ravens. Who else are we thinking? Bills, Chiefs. Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Ravens. Um, Bills. I, I don't know why I'm stuck. Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Ravens. Who's next? Maybe Bengals next. Dolphins. And then Browns or Cowboys. Then, then Browns or Cowboys are as teams that people use the most. Um, Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Ravens. I had a touchdown to be right there. I'm just now seeing it. Bills, Chiefs, Jets, Ravens. I just said that. I just said that a thousand times, huh? And then Bengals, Dolphins, Browns, Cowboys. I'm, I feel like I'm missing somebody though. I feel like I'm missing somebody. I can't. I can't think of it. But they're not a top team that people use. Like on Players Lounge, you'll never see nobody use the Cowboys. Ever. Oh, San Fran. San Fran's up there too. On Players Lounge, you'll never see anybody use them. Ever, bro. Cowboys? Like what? I see Bengals. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice dot. I thought my bliss would get there in time. That's a nice dot. That's a nice dot. Nice defense right there as well, right before half. Got a sack right before half. <sighs> But as you guys can see, um, guys can play, man. Like, subscribers can play. See, these subscribers can play, man. It's not like these guys suck or anything like that. These guys can actually play. Nice knockout right there. Deep out zone KO with the knockout. Bad adjustment right there by him. He has a problem with, uh, he comes out in DB fire a lot. But then he forget to put his corners in deep fourths and shit like that. But his offense is on point. He just... And he asked me after this game, he said, what can I do to be better? I said, just your adjustments and your reads, really. Like, you call them the right plays and shit. But it's the adjustments and the reads, man. Like, the defense adjustments. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting all your adjustments down. You got to get so your nose down faster. And you got to focus on your reads, man. Defense adjustments and reads is what it comes down to. Because, like I said, he was putting the right... Offensive things out there, he just didn't have the right reads. I mean, he didn't have the right. I mean, he didn't have it all the way together. I'm telling you, bro. Gum bunch verticals is the way to go, man. Gum bunch verticals is it. And I know I'm probably late. I know I'm late. I know I am late, but gum bunch verticals is it. Um, we gotta enjoy, and we need to enjoy the bills while we can, man, because. Next Madden is it's no it's no more bills. It's it's no more bills, bro. No more digs, no Tradavius White. Um No Poyer or is it no Hyde? One of them two left. Maybe both of them left. No Poyer, no Hyde, no White. No, I think it's no Poyer. No Poyer, because there I seen somebody say want me no more uh, deep out zone KOs. Fourth and inches, nice stop down in them trenches. Nice stop, Ed Oliver. That was a horrible read right there. And when I had so much shit wide open, so much shit, and that's the read I threw. So much stuff wide open right there. But we got to enjoy the Bills while we can. Like, this is probably one of the best teams. Watch this shit right here. Watch this shit. Ball did not hit my player at all. 
and they gave him the ball. Like, what? Did the ball hit my, a player of mine at all right there? I'm trying to see. Nope. Maybe he kicked his foot right there, but that's crazy. I was like, all right, whatever, Madden. Know how y'all get down. And then allow Mozart to just juke my whole team. I'm like, oh, shit, this game getting a little, a little crazy now. Nice read to the flat. But Bills is one of the best teams, like, I don't know. because of And it's because of abilities. It's because of abilities. Nice swerve. Oh, my God, nice swerve. Check this out. This up, check this out, right? Watch out when I throw this. He got he got a chance to like catch up speed wise, and then fight for the ball. But when I swerve inside, the computer swerves inside too. So when he's when, when I when I swerve inside, that puts him further away from the ball. Now I just gotta just catch it right here. Watch the swerve right here. See how the computer swerved too? Like why? Just keep going. You know if you feel me? Then I can swerve back outside and he can't catch up. That's crazy. That is crazy stick work. That's what we call that's what we call stick work right there. I should have just not even clicked on let the computer make that. Uh, he would have knocked that out. But um, one thing I hate being asked, and, I, and it's not it's not about hate being mad, uh, hate being asked, but it's like, what team are you going to use in Man Twenty Five? And it's like. How do you how do you know what team you're gonna use? If you already know what team you're gonna use in Man 25, I don't think you know what you're doing. Or I don't think you know what you're talking about. And the reason I say that is because every single year there's a different meta. Every single year there's different abilities. Nobody used the Bills last year. Why are people using the Bills this year? Cause they got abilities. Deep out zone KOs. Nobody nobody used the Bills last year. Like nobody. Who was the team last year? Packers. Um, I'm trying to think. Packers, Chiefs. Um, well, why was it Packers? Cause you had a Rod. I mean, you had, you know, you had speed receivers. You had DBs. Well, you had abilities. You feel me? But nobody, nobody even thought about the Bills. Nobody thought about the Bills. But this year, why were people why were people using the Jets this year? A Rod and abilities. You feel me? So um people are saying the Texans next year. Well it depends on what abilities they give you on the Texans. Like like rarely do people, you know what I'm saying, rarely do people use Miami on this game. Because when Madden first came out, people were like, who are you about to use? I'm using Miami. They got Tyreek Hill. They got Jalen Water. They just got Moser. They got Jalen Ramsey on defense. They got, you know what I'm saying? They got everybody. But nobody uses them this year, rarely. And it's like, why? The quarterback play is shitty. You know what I'm saying? Tua has a slow release. You need a quarterback with, with a fast release and they get the ball out. So it's like if you already know what team you're using in Madden next year, that's crazy because we don't even know what type of Madden it is. It could be a heavy run type of Madden, and you sitting there talking about you finna use Houston. Okay, Houston got who, who running back did they pick up? They picked up um, they picked up the running back from the, from the Bengals. Um, Joe, they picked up Joe Mixon, but like, you know, you just can't just look at this Madden and say exactly. Well, you can't look at Madden 25 and know exactly what team you finna use. That's like somebody asking you what team you finna use in NCAA 25. Well, damn, I don't know. Shit. Uh, who's good in college, man? I don't know. what what is they going to give abilities in Madden 25? Is they, I don't even know how Madden 25 finna play. I mean, uh, NCAA. I don't even know how NCAA finna play. Are they finna give a, uh, abilities in NCAA 25? Are they finna, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't know. Is, what, what, I haven't played the game yet to know what team I'm going to use. Hell, me personally, I might, shit, I don't know what Madden 25 team I'm really going to use. I mean, obviously, we can we can probably say the Chiefs, you know what I'm saying, because they might give out McDuffie ability. Um, they got rid of Sneed, though. Um, the draft ain't even happened yet. You feel me? The draft ain't happened yet. We don't know what rookies is going to wear. We don't know if they even going to give rookies abilities. We just don't, we don't, we don't. How do you know what team you finna use and, and, and you don't even 
you haven't even seen the game. I mean, we can we can we can expect it to be just like that's how you fight for the ball. We can expect it to be just like this this Madden, and people are going on like these these players' abilities that they have now. Like they might not even give Aaron Jones ability next year, so we don't know. We really don't know. That's that's the toughest question I get asked every single day while I live stream. Yo, bro, you ready for Mad 25? Hell yeah. What team you finna use, bro? I don't know, bro. Maybe the maybe the maybe the 49ers, bro. Maybe maybe they might fuck around and give give Purdy gunslinger and set feet lead and shit like that. What if they give Purdy gunslinger and set feet lead? With backfield master with McCaffrey, with tight end apprentice with with um with Kittle. What if they give uh, Hufanga deep zone KO? What if they give Fred Warner mid zone KO? What if they mess around and give who they got? They got Traverius Ward at corner. What if they give you know Gibson Jr. deep zone KO too? And it's like shit. Okay, that's who I'm finna rock with. Yeah. What if they give Ward deep out zone KO? What if they give you know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't, how do you determine what team you're finna use right now in a game that hasn't came out and you don't even know, I don't know. But, um, people have been asking about NCAA 25 too. And it's been like, um, would you, are you gonna do like a road to glory? What team are you gonna take to the, to the, try to take to the national championship? And, um, I feel like the top teams that people gonna do the most are gonna be, um, you know, Jackson, uh, not Jacksonville State, um, Colorado. People gonna try to do it with Dion and and things like that. Um, so Colorado is, a, is gonna be a heavily known team. Um, maybe a Jackson State without Dion and 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 uh, and them. Um, I'm gonna do. You know. My thought process right now, I probably want to do Youngstown State um, since I went there. And I probably want to do Appalachian State since I went there as well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, got to do the got to do the teams with the politics behind them. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into this game right here, man. Crazy gameplay right there. I don't know how Hooker picked that off, but that wasn't my best read. You know what I'm saying? We got gun bunch of verticals right here. I could have threw it to B. You know what I'm saying? Right there, I could have threw it to A. But I don't know how Malik Hooker picked that off. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now, watch how strong the Cowboys' hands are now. But obviously, this dude got dots, too. He got dots, too. Okay, one knockout that I should have got. Deep out zone KO. Perfect. Right there, good read. Good read right there. Second and 10 right here. Nice sack. Third and 20. We get a throw out of sack. Don't know who he was throwing that ball to, but fourth and twenty, bro. Check this out. Fourth and twenty. I'm like, okay, cool. If we send one, two, three, four, five, maybe we can get there. Man up this side. Put all the zones on the side right here. If I can play right here, we will be good. You feel me? So, bam. Nice fucking dot on on fucking fourth and twenty. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm not even stressed about it this early, but now he done juked and got in the end zone. I'm like, okay, this might be a GG, right? So, boom, down the middle of the field, nice dot. Like he played man-to-man, -man, but he went under, uh, I think he went uh, underneath coverage, so we beat him off the rip. I ended up going for two right there, picked me off. I'm like, all right. Thought he was taking him to the crib. I was like, okay, damn, all right, cool. All right, so right here, threw the post up right there. Should have been a pick, wasn't. I'm like, wow. Right here, I literally, I was live streaming this game right here. I literally told the chat, I said, okay, I see exactly what type of game it's going to be. I see exactly what type of game it's going to be already. Bam, nice dot. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm already seeing this is about to get crazy. Wheel route. Got a knockout. We vibing. Second and ten. One catch Ferguson held on to. That's, that, that was a 
Controversial catch right there. That's that's one. Good catch by Michael Gallup. Nice juke move right there. And just got busy. I'm like, oh my God. This is going to be a crazy one. Had a tight end wide open right there. Just couldn't complete the pass. Third and 10. Didn't really like that right there. That was controversial. That could have been a fumble right there. Could have been a fumble. Thought that was open. I think I just threw that a little bit too late, man. I think I just threw that a little bit too late. Man, the man's going crazy. Should have threw it to my running back. Yeah, I, I don't know. Threw that too late. Threw it too late. Right here, running back. Got a knockout. At one point, I'm thinking, do this dude know what reads he's throwing? He's just throwing shit. He had the running back wide open down the middle of the field. I think that's where he was going. Fourth and 15, man. Fourth and 15, we give that up again. My knockout don't activate. My knockout do not activate. Watch my guy run past. And he's lit up. Watch him run past the running back. Bam. He should have connected right there. That should have been a knockout right there. He run past him, and then he lights up. Y'all can't see because my face is in the way, but then he lights up. And I'm just like, what in the hell is going on? Right here, through the post, CD catches it. And we had a knockout. And, and we had a deep out zone KO knockout right there. Dak right there got hit by three, four people, didn't fumble. Fourth and goal, he decided to go for it right here. Catch the ball. Bro, CD catches the ball, bro. Look at this shit. CD hangs on to it. I'm like, yo, CD Lamb got to be the best receiver on this game, bro. Got to be the best receiver on the game. Now Michael Parsons starting to go crazy because he got full momentum. Shedding me again. Looking crazy out there. This is live on stream. Chat is going crazy. Damn, Rand getting his ass kicked. Damn, Rand getting destroyed. I'm like, hey, I don't know. Y'all see this shit is going on. This motherfucker's catching everything. Purple's not playing a purple. Look at look at a lamb, bro. Watch him. Watch him, bro. He's right here. He's playing a purple. He plays out here. He comes inside for some reason. For what? Why are you coming inside for it? Just sit. If something, if you play your purple, some go inside. Just sit there, bro. Like, you don't have to chase it. Nice sack right there. Put him in a third and 21. I recognize the post right there. Runs with Dak. Jukes. We can't get the fumble. I'm like, Lord have mercy. Fourth and 12 right here. Rolls out with Dak. Dak's faster than Milano, I guess. Gets the first down. Instead of kicking the field goal, he decided to go for it right here. And he didn't get it. One yard line. But he, the fact is that I got a knockout right here. I have a knockout right here. And he's still catching it. I'm like, okay, these boys don't drop shit. Decided to go for it once again. We get a pick. We get a pick. And 73 is the fastest office lineman in the damn nation. So he gets the ball at halftime right here. Nice sack off the edge. Fourth and 20. Another fourth and 20. My dumb man. Look at the My dumb man decides to blitz everybody. And Dak just got fearless, I guess. I guess Dak just got fearless. I sent the whole career, bro. My thought process was man him up. Blitz seven. I should have... Press them to the line of scrimmage so the blitzes get there faster. I got three, I got three, four people in Dak's face, but he lights the fuck up, and he just, he just makes a fucking read. Now I, I got to sit right here in case he throw it here to make a tackle. I got to sit in this area, and that's just, and that's just crazy, bro. Gave up so many fourth and twenties this game. It's not even ridiculous. It, it, it's not, it don't even make sense. Gave up so many. Right there, another hang on two where we got a knockout corner. No fumble right there by Dak. And he throws me one. I'm like, finally a lamb for just sitting there in the fucking purple, bro. Thank you. Right there, be down the middle of the field. Wish we could have scored right there, but we did. I'm three for nine, bro. That was my third completion all damn game. Nice corner route. 
Stiff arm. Four for ten. Four for ten. Nice, Josh Allen. Almost didn't let me get down right there. Almost didn't want to let me get down right there. Step up in the pocket. Could have been a fumble. Could have been a fumble. Appreciate you, Josh. I onside kick it right. Like, yo, something got to shake. <laughs> Bounce right into my hands. That was crazy. That was crazy. Got the running back to the flat right there. I'm 5 of 11 right now. Five completed passes. Right there, I seen the press. I seen the bump. And that's a touchdown. I seen the press. Bam. I seen the bump. I seen the separation. Ugh. Out of there. So now we got ourselves a ball game, man. 23 to 20. Now we got ourselves a ball game. Nice post right there. Guy had some go the guy threw a lot of posts, like back shoulder posts and things like that. He threw a lot of good reads. Right there, nice defense. Dak don't want to fumble once again. Second and 18. Another post. I thought he was going to hang on to it, but he didn't. I'm like, okay, damn. Right there, we get a knockout. Like, dude is just throwing some crazy shit. Right there, another post. Now Brandon Cooks catches it. Like, yo, how many 4th and 18s and 4th and 20s am I going to give up? Like, these dudes don't drop nothing. And I got the momentum. And I got the momentum. And they catching this shit. I'm like, yo, this is just crazy. Snuck in a nice run right there. Was not prepared for the run at all. So now I'm down 10 points. You know what I'm saying? I'm down 10. I got to figure something out. And I fumble. But we get it back. Luckily get it back, bro. Because that would have been game. Two minutes left. Down 10. Cross the field. Nice dot right there. Got out of bounds. I've only completed seven passes this whole game. Shit's crazy. Got the wheel route over there. Nice catch. Got out of bounds. And then first and goal right there. Snuck in another run. Now we kind of chilling, man. We got to find a way to get a stop, though. Got to get a stop. Right there. Threw it up. And I, I see what happened. I think it was a pressure inaccurate. And they wouldn't let him jump with Tony Pollard. I think that's what it was. It was not a pressure inaccurate at all. No pressure in his face. But I don't know. They wouldn't let him go towards the ball. I don't know. So we got a pick right there. Now, smart thing for me to would have do right here was to, right now, fall and then make this the last possession of the game. That would have been smart for me. But I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I got to stop him. If I score right here, he can't get a field goal. I got to stop him from getting a touchdown. Pretty simple. Right there, they would not let me get that, bro. I'm like, yo. I catch that pick right there. That's game. I catch this flying pick right here. That is a fucking game, bro. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at that. Oh, my God. That was it, bro. I'm going to try to pause it right right here. If I can't pause it correctly right here, then forget it. Can't tell me that's not a pick, bro. You can't tell me that's not a pick. Can't tell me that's not a pick, bro. I'm like, all right, cool. All right, now this game finna go right. Damn, I bump him right there. Luckily, no pass interference got called. Luckily, I blitzed that on the left edge. I didn't really want to. Didn't get my last adjustment in right there. Didn't get my last adjustment in right there. He's not calling no timeouts, no nothing. I decided to send some heat right there. <sighs> could have been a pick, could have been a catch. Um, I got guys manned up. Ferguson once again, bro. Ferguson once a fucking again. Check him out. Manned up right here. Manned up right here. My guy just glitched. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, bro. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know what's going on. 15 seconds left. Roll out right here. He steps out of bounds back there, bro. He stepped. Tony Pollard stepped. That's crazy. Tony Pollard steps out of bounds. Look at him. For what, though, man? That's why this game's so bad. Go back there, step out of bounds. Like, that's, that was a great dot. Second and 10, 10 seconds left, bro. I'm like, come on, man. We got all type of hooks and shit underneath, bro. And, of course, CD hangs on to it. Of course, CD Lamb hangs on to it. We got a hook here. We got a mid-read here. 
And CD hangs on to it, bro. I'm like, bro, shout out to you, bro. You just sat here and dotted my face off. And there was nothing I could do about it. Nothing I could do about it, bro. They just hung on to passes and he completed fourth downs whenever he, he needed them to. Completed fourth downs whenever he needed them to. Um, and they hung on to the ball. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Shout out to Prez, man. I think the video tomorrow I might give you. We did run a rematch. He passed for 500 yards on me. That's don't, that don't happen. But tomorrow will probably be. I'll show you guys the rematch. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Smash like button. Appreciate y'all. Hey, Blair, wait. Oh, yeah. Huh.